As you can see, we're huge fans of XLR chassis, and in this video, we're gonna try out a new one to us, the Envy Pro. Gavin Gu here from UltimateReloader.com. I'm back with Travis Fox. Thank you for joining us, Travis. Hi, Gavin. Thanks for having me. Here we have a whole collection of rifles, some of them factory, some of them full customs that we've built here, all on XLR Element 4.0 chassis. Some of them magnesium, some of them aluminum. Why don't you walk through what we got here, Travis? Beautiful array of guns here, isn't it? So right in front of me here, we have the factory offering from Bergara. It is a 6.5 Creedmoor carbon barrel, carbon folder butt stock. Pretty cool here. MG Makes it, Light, totally, yeah. totally killer hunting setup if you yeah. want a modular chassis. Fold it up, get in the backpack, something like that. Very, very nice. Cure barrel technology. Yeah. Pretty yeah, cool, pretty cool gun. There's some really cool technology yep. in this gun if you go back and look at that video. Yep. The other factory offering we have is the Onshoot 1710 Competition HB. Great rim fire gun, really fun to shoot. We just did a thing on the EC barrel tuner on that. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Super, super fun. Yeah. I love that rifle. Then this is an, one of the custom guns, 22 yep. GT. Yeah, you heard that right, 22 GT. Kind of an interesting cartridge, very fun to shoot. This has another carbon butt stock on it. This is magnesium, magnesium carbon fiber barrel, very lightweight, good varmint hunter. And then over in front of Gavin, we have the other magnesium <laughs> 4.0 element chassis. This is the 6.5 Creedmoor that we just recently built with the bad action. Mm -hmm. This has the carbon fiber butt sock. What are some of the other additions we have here, Gavin? Yeah, we these? got the bag rider on the on shoots right now. That's been trading off between multiple, multiple rifles. We got the thumb shelf here on the, on the 4.0 magnesium. That's a part of our 6.5 Creedmoor competition build. And then there's a bunch of different configurations between folder and non-folder. You can you can adjust your weight a little bit. We've got a bag rider on the carbon butt stock over here, carbon grip, a lot of different things that we can do. But this video is about the next chassis system from XLR that we're gonna dig deep into. This is the NV Pro and it's got the new C6 butt stock. So why don't we clear off the table? We're gonna get this baby out of the Can't box. Can't wait to see this one. Well, here it is. Should we get it out of the box? Let's see that new chassis smell. So this is what we got in our box. Now I'm gonna grab my laptop and go over the options that you're gonna see in the drop downs and the check boxes on the page. You, with the NV Pro, you're gonna be able to pick inlet. There's a bunch of different inlettings. We'll have a complete list. Uh, the right-handed or left-handed configuration, which is basically where that plug is. There's a Cerakote color options, buttstock options, uh, whether or not you want the folder option, which is an adapter that goes in line with the, uh, with the buttstock. Yep. The thumb rest, which we got, we're both big fans of that. A timer mount, uh, the barricade stop, the M-Lock Picatinny rail, and an M-Lock bipod slash sling adapter. Now, of course, you can add a bunch more things on top of that. Yep. But those are, are the specific things that are on the product page. So what I think we should do, I'm thinking we should do both rim fire and center fire with this thing. Well, that's what it's designed for. It's designed to be pretty usable for multiple platforms. Yep. So as long as it's got a, this has a 700, Remington 700 footprint. So yep. we've got rim fire and center fire that we can do that with that. So why don't we do this? Let's get the rifle equipped with those barreled actions. Let's do some shooting with it. And then we'll come back to share both those experiences and we'll go through all of the features and options and talk about this new C6 buttstock. This is gonna be fun. So we're back in the shop here. Gavin, I'd like to talk to you about my experience with the XLR MV Pro. I had the opportunity today to take the Bergara B14R mm -hmm. out of its normal stock and put it in the MV Pro. We started out with that and it was a very good experience. I uh, really like that. 
shot some of our little small swinger targets that we have nice. up there on the ridge line. Mm -hmm. Made some good impacts. Uh, just kind of got used to the ergonomics of this of this really great chassis. Had a lot of fun with that. And then I was like, oh, I, I have the 223 trainer with me also because I was going to shoot some of the other targets up on the ridge line. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what, we can just swap this out real quick right here on the bench, which we did. And uh, the thing is like really nice. I, there's something about this chassis when, when I stick it on a bag on, on a barricade, mm -hmm. it just really sat there very nicely and you could, it just was balanced well. And we don't have any of the other accessories that we're going to talk about later. Sure. But I was just super impressed at how balanced it was with this this whole setup on it. And just very comfortable and right off the bat I was able to make impacts with this. It didn't take a whole lot for me to get it set up even. Uh, just It just seems to blend well with me. I was real happy with I'm it. I'm actually curious about shooting a PRS style match with this 223 trainer because, you know, it's A, it's really fun. And then B, there's just very, very minimal recoil, but we've had such good accuracy with this gun shooting yeah. down into the zeros, you know, yeah. with that barreled action. Guy Miner just pulled off a .058 or something like that for a few shots at 100 yards with a bipod and a rear bag. And it's like, you know, that, and there's a separate class for you to compete in as well. Yep. So there's a lot of reasons. I, I'm glad that you took the 223 trainer up there, and uh, I'm definitely looking forward to, to trying it out as well. This is really kind of, I think, accentuates the value of the B14R, right? It comes in a great stock. It's that, that same HMR stock. So if you're gonna yep. flop back and forth between center fire and this rim fire, that's great. But because it's Remington 700, we can put it into yeah. a chassis like the MV yeah. Pro. And then it's got a Remington 700 trigger ha uh, hanger or arrangement, I guess you could say on the bottom of the action. So yeah. you love to shoot two stage. You could take the same two stage trigger you've got on the, the trainer put it in there, it's it's a really, really flexible I, setup. I, I have to agree. I think Bergara's really, really kind of hit the nail on the head with, with this kind of type thing. Changing the trigger, 700 footprint, it's just so accessible mm -hmm. for everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, I, I'm i sad that I had to miss the shooting today. Really looking forward to trying out the MV Pro. We and did get a little wet. <laughs> I love the Arca Rail because it, it gives us the opportunity to use multiple you know, bipods if we want to do that. We have our own custom bag rider for shooting it off of the bench rest. Yep. And the C6, which we'll talk about more in a moment, we've got the bag rider on there and we can run it with slope or we can run it straight as well. Yep. So overall, lots of, really good stuff. Lots of good things here. Let's, let's go over some of the specs on this thing and see what we come up with. Sounds good. All right, so right off the bat, Gavin, the one thing that really caught my eye on this XLR MV Pro was the adjustable magazine catch. Mm -hmm. So we're dealing with stamped metal magazines, injected yep. molded magazines like this one here. Yep. And they all have their kind of variable tolerances, and we tend to fight those sometimes. So this has the beauty to be able to adjust it, which we did in the beginning for the Bergara, to get that so that 22 long rifle is feeding just right into there, goes right in the chamber without damaging that that bullet mm -hmm. face because they're pretty soft lead. So you want that to go right in there. Worked perfectly. I was able to get it to feed just right in there. I was, I was really impressed happy. when you showed that to me. There's an Allen screw on the one side and Travis is adjusting it and he's pulling down on the magazine. I'm seeing it go up and down totally smoothly. So it's it's really amazing how precisely you can lock that yeah. in. And for myself, you know, when I have to tune these and get feeding issues sorted out, super nice to not have to swap them out or I've even milled them down to a yeah. particular length, you know, take one that's too long. Totally love that feature. The entire chassis machined from a solid billet of 6061 T6 aluminum. So it's really, really nice tolerances and the, the surface finish on it is absolutely beautiful. They did a great job with it. Mm -hmm. The bottom of it has the really right stuff spec Arca rail, which, mm -hmm. you know, that's the spec to do if you're gonna do it. Full length Arca, once you get it, you don't wanna be without <laughs> yeah, it. I mean, definitely. we run bag riders on it, we run bipods on it. You've got all that adjustability for whatever kind of setup you want on the fly. Yeah, definitely the way to go. Yeah, and you notice it's got the M-lock up there. We're gonna add some weights to it eventually. We'll, we'll mm -hmm. go through that another time. Mm -hmm. uh, AR style, any of the flat top AR style grips will go right onto it. This has the uh, vertical grip from XLR. Nice. The one thing I did like about this, Gavin, I didn't talk about this before, mm -hmm. is the magwell. It has this really nice slope to it here. Mm -hmm. And when I was on my bag, it just kind of just 
you know, it's not a straight, it kind of gives you that nice curve and it just kind of molds in the back. Hmm. And it just really kind of seemed to sit there very well. It was, it was nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah I, I like could that. see how you could maybe rock the rifle a mm -hmm. little bit more because it's got that slope yeah. there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I like how the mag catch has, it has a little bit further reach back so that ergonomically when you push with yep. your pointer finger to drop your mag, it's a little bit more yeah. convenient there. Yeah, very I handy. love that. It will accept AR style butt stocks. You know, you talked about AR grips, you might as well have AR style butt stocks as well. Yep. We've got the C6 here as a, a bit of a preview that'll be out a little bit later. With the TR2 butt stock, the entire weight of the chassis would be four pounds, three ounces. Right. Sitting right there in the middle of that sweet spot. It does have, this chassis does have an integrated bubble level on it back mm -hmm. here also. Flared magwell. We put the thumb rest on it, this is an optional piece, mm -hmm. and the bag rider, which is an optional piece on it. Which brings up a good point, there's full ambi here. You can right. put the thumb rest on either side, yep. there's a plug for the uh, the bolt knob to come down, and then also the ambi, you know, mag catch yeah. Yeah. button there. Very well thought out chassis, mm -hmm. very impressive. So another thing I love is the integrated QD sockets, because I love using QD slings mm -hmm. on off really quick. You know, they are really secure and you have a lot of different positional options for how you arrange that as well. The one, one thing with that is it makes it very smooth here. There's mm -hmm. nothing sticking out the side. Mm -hmm. So very handy. Good stuff. Totally love how they've spec this out. So what's next? So next, well, we're going to put a weight kit on it. We're going to get nice. it all balanced out, weighted down. You know, it is a competition rifle. Mm -hmm. We'll probably put the six dasher uh, barreled action into it. Yep. See how that works. I'll hopefully get to shoot it in a match. Yeah. Be pretty fun. I love doing that. Mm -hmm. And then at one point in time here in the very near future, we're going to go over the new C6 buttstock and the massive amount of features that it has. It's very exciting. It's already been announced. It's had a soft launch, but XLR is working really hard for broad public availability. And that's when we're going to have more content on that. We're going to go more in depth, try it on multiple chassis. Yes, I'm pretty excited about it from the features I've seen so far. It's, it's totally killer. Very so, cool. So we got a couple follow-up stories. We've got the C6 and then we've got the accessorizing after Travis has spent more time behind it shooting it and myself as well. Uh, we'll let you know, you know, what our impressions are, what configurations are working well. You know, right here we have two different balancing points with a carbon rim fire, shorter barrel config and a longer, you know, barreled action with a suppressor on it. We can definitely use weights to help balance oh, yeah. that out. Yep. Totally good it, stuff. It will be pretty cool. It, it's gonna be it's gonna be really fun to try and see what it takes to balance this rifle and then what it takes to balance this rifle. But mm -hmm. I know that uh, with the way this chassis is designed, with the way the weight systems are, I don't think it's gonna be too difficult. Yeah, it's really really good stuff. So here's what we want to know from you: If you were gonna get this NB Pro, how would you configure it, and what would you use it for? Are you currently shooting an NB Pro? How do you have it configured? What are you using it for? Are you using it for NRL Hunter, for PRS matches, for practical field shooting? We want to know what you're doing or what you would do if you don't have one next. We have plenty of plans. We'd love to hear about yours. Drop a comment and we'll start a discussion. Thank you, Travis, for your work on this. Thanks, Gavin. It was fun. Absolutely. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, make your voice heard. If you have something to say, please drop a comment. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications because you're not going to want to miss the awesome content that is coming up. And finally, flex your reloading pride. You could look great in one of these t-shirts. We've got multiple designs at the Ultimate Reloader store. I'll see you later because I'm off to go shooting.